Hi guys, this is A2 Chemistry, Transition Elements, and we are looking at their properties. Question 1. Describe three characteristic chemical properties of transition elements that are not shown by group 2 elements. So, three unique properties that transition elements have. The first one is they have variable oxidation states. The next one is that they form colored compounds. And the third one is they are used as catalysts. If we can include one more, although it is not asked, but we need to remember is that they form complexes. Question two, what is meant by the density of a substance? So the density is defined as mass per unit volume of a substance. Next, explain why the density of iron is greater than that of calcium. So uh, if we look at the positioning of iron and calcium, iron is placed towards the right of calcium in the same period. That means it will have a smaller atomic radius and it will have a higher atomic mass. So iron has a smaller atomic radius than calcium. Iron has a higher AR than calcium. So density is equal to mass upon volume. In this case, it is AR upon size. So if the AR is high and the size is small, both of these properties results in a higher density for iron in comparison to calcium. Question three. Suggest why transition elements show variable oxidation states in their compounds, whereas S block elements like calcium do not. So transition have variable oxidation states because the 3D and the 4S orbitals in transition elements are of comparable energies. So what happens is that if 4s electrons are removed resulting in the formation of the two positive ion, the single electrons from the 3d orbitals are removed as well resulting in multiple oxidation states. So we put this down as other than the 4s electrons forming plus 2 ions other than the 4s electrons being removed the single or unpaired 3d electrons are removed as well resulting in variable oxidation states. So all the transition elements will have a plus two state and higher states depending on how many single d orbital electrons are present in them. 
Next, calculate the oxidation number of the metal in each of the following ions. So, in the case of BO2 positive, the positive sign is the net answer. So, we've got two oxygen. So, that is 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So, the equation becomes X minus 4 equals plus 1, which means X is equal to plus 5. In the case of CrF62 minus, the equation would become uh, equal to minus 2. And we've got negative 6 charges for fluoride and chromium is unknown. So x minus 6 is equal to minus 2. So if x uh, is rather minus 6 is carried over to the other side, it becomes plus 6. So minus 2 plus 6 is equal to plus 4. And in the case of MnO42 minus, the equation becomes x minus 4 to the 8 equals minus 2. So when minus 8 is carried over to the other side, it becomes plus 8. And minus 2 gives us the charge on the manganese ion as positive 6. Question 4. State how the metal, state how the melting point and density of iron compare to those of calcium. So, melting point of iron would be higher, and the density of iron would also be higher than calcium. So, they're asking for the reason or other explanation why these differences occur. So, high melting point the reason for high melting point is that greater number of delocalized electrons in the metallic lattice of iron and the reason for high density is because the AR of iron is greater than calcium and the atomic radius your atomic uh, radius yes a of iron is lesser than that of calcium so as a result ar upon size is equal to density so if we have a high ar and a smaller size it results in a higher density of iron compared to that of calcium Question 5. Describe and explain how the density and melting point of cobalt compares to those of calcium. So calcium is a group 2 metal and cobalt is a transition metal. So the density of cobalt is higher than calcium. And melting point of cobalt is also higher than calcium. Now the reason is required. So density is higher because cobalt has a higher AR and a smaller radius. And as far as the radius is concerned, we're talking about the atomic radius. So when we calculate the density, the density is equal to AR upon size of the atom. Since the size of the atom is small and the AR is high, the density would be higher. The next thing we need to explain is why the melting point of cobalt is higher. So greater number of delocalized 
electrons in the metallic lattice of cobalt resulting in greater attraction and greater metallic bonding in cobalt. 